Happy Thursday to you all. It's a lovely Thursday after evening. And on today's live stream, I'm just going to be covering two, well, three things. One, I just got for my lips. What is up with the lips? All right. So first thing first, I definitely want to say I, I'm i so excited to be here. <laughs> Obviously, we are trying to keep our live streams under 30 minutes, capping it at 30 minutes. I think it's been working. Am I out of frame? Mm. All right, I think it's been working. But we're going to cap it at 30 minutes because it's... It's, I'm tired, but okay, I'm going to do two things. Like I mentioned, I'm going to unbox this plant and I'm also going to be updating you on the perlite prop box. So I'm going to start with the perlite prop box. Uh, this is what week two, I would say of update. I did the original creating the perlite prop box three weeks ago. And last week I gave the first update, so that was like a full week. And then today I'm giving the second update. Hi, Brianna! Hi! All the way from Nova Scotia! Oh my goodness! <laughs> We're international here! My salty peeps are international! Hi, everyone! So, per light prop box, you know what, I kind of enjoyed last week when I did the unboxing of Becca's houseplant book, having some sort of, what is the word, like background music, right? <laughs> we international, baby! <laughs> so let me see, I'm going to look for some royalty free sort of like non porno music because last time um yeah last time i was not expecting the bow chicka wow wow aspect of it i was like oh but it was, it was you know we, we can't really do too much about that um let's see uh ambient music i think that'll be good If you fall asleep, let me know if you're falling asleep so I could stop it. Okay. Alright, so Perlite prop box update. So I guess sad update one is almost all of the variegated strings of hearts that I tried to prop. Kaput. Dead. Gone. Non-existent what was there does not exist okay so but oddly enough um i'll just show you why am i describing it when i literally have it in my face right <laughs> okay so this is what one looks like it's literally mush 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 literally mush um the next one looks pretty cute it's actually pushing out new growth. Gosh, these things are so hard to show you. Okay. Okay. Um, this one has a little new growth point coming out here, but I don't see the tubulars, the tubes, the turb, tuber tubes. They're not forming yet, and I also don't see roots, but I see new growth. So that's surprising and promising. The next one is just a stem, right? And it's still alive. It's still alive. So the difference between this one and the one I showed you before was this is from like the all white portion of the variegated strings of hearts. And this one is from the portion that still has green in it. So the green is contributing to um, 
the new growth and the viability of this little strand. So I'm still excited about that. And when it comes to the Mykins, I think the Mykins are just like, they're feeling. They're feeling to be repotted, but this plant is really easy to propagate. So this is the Mykins. This one has full roots now. They're like short, but wherever you see the perlite up top right here, that's new growth. I mean, that's roots. This one has roots. That perlite hanging up there, that's the tip of the roots. Oh, this looks really good. Look at this one. Looking really good. And it's actually growing. It has a new growth point already. Right here. So in a matter of two weeks, the micans have rooted essentially fully. All of them have roots now. So I'm super happy about that. Really happy about that. So definitely these micans are going to get potted up and they will be for a live stream giveaway upcoming. I'm going to wait for it to warm up a bit. And I think I'm going to today cut up a few of my salty pecans and pop them in here to see how they're going to root inside of the prop box. So this is the Raphidophora the cursiva, right? And last week when I showed it to you, this particular one had two leaves. Um, the other one was like yellow and I like popped it off. But this one, it's starting to yellow, but I, I'm not worried about that because looking at this now, I see three new growth points even before the roots have really, 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 really started to like form it's going to be so hard to show you all but i'm going to use this as my pointer okay to show so right here it literally is like impossible to see but this right here is a new growth point that little tiny green speck that's a new growth point right here is a new growth point and also in the center of it is a new growth point. So this little green dot that you're seeing right here in front of the brown, that's a new growth point. This little green dot right here is a new growth point. And this is a new growth point. So I'm excited. And then under the leaf, there's also a new growth point. This right here that my scissor is going like across. Let me scrub the perlite away. That is a new growth point. So Thumbs up for this perlite prop box. I have not added any water to it, but I actually um, ended up do. but I think I need to add water to it now to keep the, you know, little reservoir happy. So that's the first part of the decursiva that I cut. And then this one is still green. It's still doing its thing. Originally, when I popped these in here, they were so dry. They were so unhappy. Um, I, like I mentioned, if you don't remember, this plant, I showed it in a video. I filmed the video. I showed it. I took the plant out of the pot, and I never put the plant and the roots back inside of the soil, right? So I just left a root-free plant just hanging on a pot. So eventually it started to wither, started to like, oh, I don't like it here. So before <laughs> it died, I decided to chop it up and try to root it. And so far, so good. And this is another Mikan's cutting. So this Mikan's here has boom, root, and then a boom, another root, and boom some more roots so i am super excited i also have some inside of this prop box some string of turtles i don't want to actually pick the string of turtles up yet but i know they're not rooted but these are going to be uh like future little like 
live stream giveaways, okay? So let me, give me like less than a minute. I'm going to grab cuttings of my salty pecan and I will be right back, okay? So we can just throw it inside of the perlite prop box. Enjoy my, my, my background music of me singing a song. My salty pecans are the best ever. I have the best salty pecans that's ever existed. Ever. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, grocery device back. You know what I'm going to do? I'll just show you guys. Ah! almost fell okay so this right here is my dress so make sure i don't have I don't want y'all to see up here just hide my inappropriate stuff um so here's the salty pecan i'm going to uh, grab oh all right boom boom before we do that you see this banner if you've ever heard of jerry o'connell he had a show that was like a six week sneak peek and I went to his show and I got chosen to on both like both episodes to um to like just speak and be in the audience so the first one I actually went on my birthday so August 27th on 2019 I went to the Jerry O'Connell show and I was chosen to like ask a question, right? And it was just like, oh, something about who can't grow facial hair, Jerry, The Rock, or Justin Bieber, right? So I'm like, oh, you can't grow facial hair, Jerry, right? And I think I ended up winning like $150 or something, right? On the Jerry O Show. So then I got invited two days later to actually be a, an extra in a sense, right, so, like, I came and I, like, shared a story about some horrific thing that happened to me one day, and I ended up winning. It was me and, like, four other people, and my story, like, uh, I ended up winning, and Jerry crowned me the worst in the world. I actually have that clip on my YouTube channel. It's so funny, but that was a really fun moment. So, long story short, that is where the sash comes from, and also where this oh, look plants you guys never see <laughs> i have so many plants and this crown for being the worst in the world <laughs> so yeah that was my story but like i said we're gonna cut up the salty pecan and i'm just gonna cut anywhere look Salty pecan for my salty pecans. <laughs> Jerry, my voice. Wait, Kataria. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought she said my voice is horrible. I'm like, guys, so me, so me. I know I can't sing. So I'm gonna just chop this up. There's what one, two, three, four. There's about like four and a half, five. What is that thing called? notes right Bloop. um so we're gonna just experiment with this for plant one and i think that's it does anyone like would you guys ever be interested in adding so nice let me know i don't know where i put the scissor let me know i'm gonna see if things pop up right here sorry for the shaking but i'm not a tripod Okay, I'm a big girl. <laughs> Let me know if you're interested in adding so nice. I might actually chop up a add and so nice. Let's see. The only thing with the add and so nice is there's a lot of like straggler bits and ends. Right? So let's see. Right, I'm just going to chop it at a random point. So what I love about adding so nice is that they are so easy to root. 
this plant is so easy to root so let's go back to the my chair look at it look oh i can't even reverse camera for you guys look look how cute this is y'all look how cute this is love it love it I have to go around like my ring light. <laughs> the background of my videos that you don't see in pre-recorded videos. The reality. The reality. Okay, let's keep y'all close so you don't see anything else. Yes. We made it. We made it. We made it, y'all. Oh. All right. So, boom 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 something i did not mention like in other prop videos that i've done in regards to the perlite prop box is you can use rooting hormone if you'd like not necessary but it is an extra i wouldn't even say assurance but it's kind of like you know if you are nervous that hey your plant might not root then use rooting hormone just to calm yourself down so I don't need a whole bunch of extra internode, so I'm just gonna cut it a little bit really closer to the node. Boom. I'm gonna throw away all this extra internode because it's pretty much trash. It's not gonna do anything. It will turn yellow. Here's the next node. There's a little aerial root right here, cutting it. Boom. Waste of space, internode. Chop off aerial root boom waste of space internode but we are not going to chop all of it because if you can see these little protrusions right these are actually also aerial roots on the internode so i'm going to cut around them so i'm keeping the boom 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 and i'm going to chop this leaf really close to here Okay, and the final one, there's not aerial roots on the internode, so I'm just gonna chop it up right there, boom. The reason I did not keep these as clusters because the internodes are just too long. So imagine trying to fit this in a four inch pot, in a six inch pot, you're gonna have a whole bunch of extra nonsense that's pointless, trash, you don't need it salty pecan one again a whole bunch of unnecessary internoting the reason why there's so much internoting is because the plant is stretching for light so that's okay though this one has a internode without a foliage leaf so we're also going to chop that cut the unnecessary chop this here boom and this one i'm going to keep it whole uh the foliage is very fresh it's very young so i'm not gonna bother it but this one has one two situations that can root so we're gonna throw those in the prop box now i definitely recommend you let your stuff callous right before you put them in any just like enclosed space just to avoid uh, rotting, just to bacterial infection, just to avoid fungus, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, we are actually going to throw these inside of the prop box towards the end of the video because I do want to let it callous for maybe like 10 minutes or something. So just throw them on the table. <laughs> All right, so part two of this video is going to be this string of hearts silver glory so let me just preface this this is my first plant per plant purchase since october of 2020 i have not purchased a plant since then the last plants i purchased were the hoya swiffer's tail and the hoya kentiana lori lynn that purchase total was like 300 and something dollars. I've never spent that much on plants and I plan on never spending that much on plants. Do I regret buying them? 
not one single bit because I wanted the plants, right? Let me just preface that. I wanted the plants. I got them. I'm happy the price that I purchased them because the going rate for them on other platforms are worse than how much I paid. So although I paid $150 for it, like the tiniest plant in my collection, that plant, if you're trying to purchase it via bidding, you're going to be spending 300 something, 200 something dollars at least for that plant. So I've justified the purchase and I'm okay with it, but still this is not something I would promote to anyone, you know, to like grow your collection. It's not feasible to spend a hundred something dollars every single fucking plant. No gasp, you know? It does not make any sense. It's not feasible. It's not conducive to be spending, you know, a lot, you know, high 50s, high 60s, 70s plus for plants. It's, it is not, you can't, it's, it, it's possible, but why? 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 And I say why because last year, so many of my plants died. So many plants died. Not to the fault of the plants, but to the fault of myself, to like reality. Um, I did get a lot of plants really, really fast. Even though I've been growing my collection for well over 10 years. Last year, 2019, 2018... It was just a lot of like buying kick for me. So reality hit. I did not have the time to take care of plants the way that they deserve to be taken care of. On top of just like me stressing over other, you know, life, over life reality. So all of the money that I spent, even though it wasn't a lot, it's gone. It's a waste. Plants at the end of the day are at the at the end of the day are living, breathing things. One day they might do good, one day they might not do good. So just be very mindful of how much you're spending on plants. If you want to treat yourself, treat yourself. But I don't recommend it to be your your day-to-day -day happenstance, if that makes sense. I have to check the comments because I know they've been going off. So this plant, I purchased it on Facebook, Facebook um one of the Facebook groups I'm on. So I am a little nervous to one open this because I was the size of the box, right? Um, I expect the plant to be in the pot. I hope it's in the pot, but this does not look like something that can fit a pot. And I'm not a fan of receiving plants bare rooted or receiving plants removed from pots because that it disturbs the roots on top of the season that we're in on top of it having to travel from point a to point b who knows how many different weather conditions it endured during the travel i'm not a fan of of that so i am really nervous on how to how this plant is going to look the seller shipped it out on Monday for me, and it arrived yesterday, Wednesday, but I forgot to go to the post office to pick it up, so I went and I picked it up today. Um, so it came in a bag, and it's in the box, it has my name on it. I purchased a heat pack. Uh, yo, if a heat pack is like, what, three, four dollars, add the heat pack, okay? Why would you spend five dollars for a plant just for it to come dead just spend pay for the heat pack i know you don't want to but guess what don't buy plants during the winter because it's not the seller's fault if your plant comes frozen my thing is once it leaves the hands of the seller unless they have a policy that's like oh you know i can compensate you for how your plant arrives you know if it doesn't do good i can compensate you it is not like it's not the seller's fault how your plant arrives if they don't package this properly so there is a heat pack really happy about that it's still warm well this morning it was warm when i picked it up on my lunch break Ooh. okay so it comes with her card okay i'm not gonna show you the card yet just in case i don't like how the plant came 
Okay. All right. It did come in the pot. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. All right. Yeah, this shit looks mad tiny, by the way. So I paid $30 for this. Okay. Okay. All right. So seller wrapped it in, what is this called? Clear wrap, right? They also added the little fuzzy thing. And this is how it looks. This is actually cute. Silver Glory String of Hearts. So like I mentioned, I paid $30. And I believe either $3 for a heat pack. And $9 for shipping. So um, this is really cute. This is really cute. I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with how this looks. And for sure, I know it's not the regular string of hearts because, you know, people would be trying to do that. I actually came across a listing this morning of somebody being like, oh, variegated, I mean, silver glory. And I'm like, that is not a silver glory. That is a silver classic string of hearts, okay? Be very careful when you purchase Silver Glory versus regular String of Hearts because the Silver Glory, they have this like flat, sort of a flatter kind of appearance. Um, this one looks a little hardish, but I'm not I'm not paying attention to that. But the rest of them look pretty Silver Glory-ish. They look like an apple if you cut it down the middle, you know, and you look at an apple through the, like, halfway, right? It's cute. Okay, I like it. I like it. If you are interested, the individual's shop is this. And yeah. That's the person. So I'm really happy about that. I'm happy how it came. And it came, let me just, oh uh, look, it has a little bit of roots popping out. Cute, cute. I am going to water this. Um, and I'm also going to, what do we do when we receive new plants, everyone? Let's say it together, salty peeps. We isolate them. We isolate them. You will never, you should never ever get a new plant in your collection and just bloop, plop them next to the homies. Never, ever, ever. Literally, in the words of Mean Girls, that's social suicide, Karen. That's social suicide. Okay, that's social suicide. We're not trying to social suicide. Okay, we're not trying to kill our plants. <laughs> we don't want to kill our plants. We want to have these babies acclimated properly. So I'm going to separate this from the rest of my plants for a couple of days. And also inspect the rest of the plant. I'm going to do that off camera. But I'm going to inspect the plant, inspect the soil to just make sure there are no insects critters bugs anything that can like fuck with the rest of my plants because we don't we don't want that we don't want that we pay too much money for our plants to so have that happen okay so bloop, bloop, bloop. um we are at the 29 minute mark you know what that means <laughs> what does that mean we about to round up. <laughs> so I'm popping the... You see what I did? Remember what I mentioned about the reason why this the cursiva is inside of this <laughs> from the beginning? Because I left it out. So I love how I took it out of here and I never put it back. So I just want this plant to die, don't I? I think I want this plant to die. I don't want it to die. I do not want it to die. So, for the heck of it, I'm going to bloop, bloop. ruining hormone and place it on the soil. I'm not even going to just, like, stick it in the dirt, right? Not in the perlite. I'm just going to, like, place it on top because the aerial roots are going to burst and grow. So... 
yeah I'm just gonna do that so definitely expect random um, live stream giveaways but I am going to just wait for the weather to warm up a bit you know so we just added what plants do we just add in here so we have potential for aside from the decursiva that's the only one from in here that I'm not giving away because that's my only plant but the micans the salty pecan and the adansonis are for you all and you're probably like oh Pam you never did your 5k subscriber giveaway yes I did I kind of cheated because I just decided to make them live stream giveaways versus like I mentioned I feel the only reason I would do a large giveaway right opening it up to other people is to grow my channel right so you know because people be like oh follow my channel subscribe for a giveaway you know follow me on Instagram you know to be part of the give giveaway tag somebody you know it's like no I want to reward the people who got me to where I am currently and if more people come along then kudos welcome 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 but it's more intimate like I think it's more of a fair giveaway for example there's what 15 people on currently it's easier to win with 15 people versus hundreds like period so, yeah. And, um, and if someone overseas wins, I would probably have to double check. Because I know I was grimy last time and I couldn't ship them out before um, to my overseas winners. And I, um, and they had to be given to the USA, but I think... If I'm going to do that with my reasoning and knowing that I have international salty peeps who watch me currently, you know, let me, I'm going to the comments now so I could greet you and greet everybody before we, we exit. All right. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Coco V. I'm not sure if everyone's in here that I'm going to say hi to. Hi, Coco V. Hi, Karen. Hi, Veldigris Dreams. Hi, Ziana. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Katalia. Oh, my gosh. What? Verdi Grease Dreams sent me a super chat. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. What? You don't have to thank you. I really appreciate it. Hi, Felix. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Kimberly. And that's all my salty peeps that commented. So I'm really happy with the prop box. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. I am going to add water. Um, just a little bit of water because it's there's nothing um, reservoir-wise to keep the humidity you know going so I'm gonna add water I also am gonna take the L and I want to poke some holes inside of this lid so we are also going to poke holes originally I didn't want to ruin this lid because I'm like what if I want to use this for something else another day but am I really gonna I doubt it so uh, poke holes on your lid I showed you how another lid looked like let me just show you how the other lid that I'm mentioning looks. Looks like. All right. Sorry, y'all. You see? And this one, there's so much moisture in it. And I never opened this. Today's the first day in, well, since I first showed it to you that I've opened this. And there's actually zero plants <laughs> inside of here. <laughs> I have problems. I have problems. I have issues. Just have random propagation boxes just chilling because why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> My salty pecans. We're at 35 minutes now. But like I mentioned, I am going to poke holes in this and I will definitely update you all 
next Thursday. So I think I am going to be keeping these Thursday live streams more regular. But I guess it's just figuring out the perfect time to come on. But I always preset the time earlier in the day. So if you come on a Thursday, you're like, oh, is Pam going to live stream? You know, just look and see if I have it scheduled for later in the day. Sometimes I do them for 530 other times I do them for 6, 6.30. It all depends on like how fast I can get home from work. Today I got home early enough that I can do a 5.30 live stream, which is definitely easier for me. Um, especially if I want to film other videos, which I'm going to, as after I hang up here, I'm going to film a video. I have a couple videos that I want to film t today and this weekend for you all. So do keep an eye out. And... With that being said, I will see you all on the next one. Thank you, my salty peeps. I love you all. Um, individual plans, individual giveaways. Uh, I think to make it more plants available for you all, I might do like two or three nodes, you know, in like a smaller pot. So it's more for you all, okay? Versus like putting like, seven plants you know seven cuttings putting like seven cuttings inside of like one pot i might do like two or three in one to make it more for my live stream salty peeps okay so again for the 70th time i will see you all next week have a good one let's keep growing love you all bye do you like my nails i got them done yesterday i got a new color <laughs> This is like a coral and like a, this one is called Grand Canyon. This one is like coral reef gel. Love it. Natural nails, not acrylic, but mwah. I'll see you all next Thursday and on this week's video.